Hello and welcome back to Simply Gregster EV. We are still in Reykjavik, Iceland, and this is our final night, but I didn't feel it was right leaving without showing you this absolutely amazing charging site that I have fallen in, in, in love with. We do have to charge up the EV6 before we bring it back. The rental car place wants it at 70%. So we're gonna charge this up and I'm gonna give you a site tour here at this Orkan Kempower charging site here in downtown Reykjavik, Iceland. Let's get into this. So as you know, this is the uh, EV6 that we've been driving for the last few days. Uh, we will do a full review on, the, on this car shortly, but first we're going to charge it. So let's get this started. Let's open up this charge port door. Very cool site, uh, 400 kilowatt chem power. Uh, we'll go through it once we set up the car. So let's get the handle in. This is going to go into here. Make sure that is locked in pretty easy to use we will set it to English so we did this yesterday at a similar site about 100 kilometers away but the weather was absolutely miserable but I really wanted to give you a tour of this site uh, so we're gonna set it back to English okay we're in English now insert your card we'll do this with Apple pay because that's how I like to roll there we go card has been read select number four we've been using number four posts here yeah that's no problem card is being verified now they are it should be authenticated we are authenticated the battery we've been pre-charging it for about 30 minutes sorry a pre-conditioning for about 30 minutes but we did stop for dinner and it is cold outside so i don't know how hot that battery is to charge but we're going to see what we'll be ramping up at here we're at um, the cars at 21 percent state of charge so roughly what we had yesterday it's maxed out for now 118 kilowatts the pack voltage is going to rise the temperature is going to rise and hopefully we're going to see some some good numbers on that we've already done almost two kilowatt hours it's starting to ramp up now 123 but let's give a tour of the uh, site so these are 400 kilowatt posts. Your payment terminals are here. You have three, three chem power, power cabinets. So 600 kilowatts total output. Each module inside is 50 kilowatts. Each cabinet handles 200 kilowatts and it's scalable, which means you could only, you could add as many modules as you need. You could add one, two, three, four modules per cabinet and you go from there. I believe this is the full extra spice 600 kilowatt cabinets given the power demands at this site but the site itself is beautiful here we have a cafe we have two four six posts we have five ccs one chatamo chatamo is still a thing here and we do have a gas pump that's still in use and gas here in Iceland is horrendously expensive. Uh, that's 15 liters of gas, 500, sorry, 5,004 kroner. That's about $50 Canadian, which is absolutely crazy. When, when you think about it, that's absolutely crazy. But what I do like here is that the price per kilowatt hour is advertised on the sign it's um 48 icelandic kroner per kilowatt hour so about 48 cents canadian a kilowatt hour which is comparable to what it is back home actually um, iceland has a lot of geothermal production and hydroelectric production but this is the site here it was converted from an old shell gas station it, it appears that they converted into an ev charging site as i mentioned there is a gas pump still here for for you to use but this is primarily a covered ev charging site i cannot get over how nice this site is let's go have a look at the kia and see what it's doing kia is ramping up nicely we're right now at 152 it's going up now it's really starting to ramp up that pack voltage is coming up the battery pack temperature is coming up already at 175 kilowatts four minutes into the charge 180 and it's just climbing from here we're going to see some good numbers on this site Again, it just tapered off now after five minutes and it's still going up nicely. This is very cool. Chem Power is an excellent brand. We're at 196, 197 kilowatts 
on the uh, post now. What has EV charging like been here in Iceland? It's been absolutely fantastic. I think this is the best network I've seen, the best charging networks I've seen. Chem power is huge here. We've used Chem power before in a site in Rivière de Loup, Quebec. We've used Chem power, I believe, in France on our last trip. But Chem power here in Iceland is a huge player. It's Chem power, and I believe you see a lot of Alpitronic. There is a lot of Alpitronic here. So Chem power, Alpitronic, that's pretty much all you see here in Iceland. There are some older BTC sites that are still up and running but I haven't used any of those because, well, we all know the BTC energy. It's exactly the same as Electrify America and, and Electrify Canada back at home. Car still at 197 kilowatts. And again, this site is absolutely beautiful. I do apologize for the background noise. We're right on the side of a very busy intersection, but luckily there's, there's no one else here to bother us while we're filming. What's more impressive here is that Chatamo is still a thing. There are a lot of first gen Nissan Leafs still driving around here and I just noticed that the payment terminals give you a receipt which is actually pretty nice but yeah Chatamo is still how does this even come out Chatamo good old Chatamo is still a thing here in Iceland there's a lot of first gen Nissan Leafs you have a beautiful post over here 400 kilowatts as the police drive by all very nice stuff we'll just give you uh, another overview of the site and I'll leave the link to the Google Maps um, in the description yes. for this. Here goes that first generation Nissan Leaf I was talking about. These cars are everywhere here. There are so many of first gen Nissan Leafs still driving around. So as I mentioned before, um, EV charging here is relatively cheap. It is a hell of a lot cheaper than putting gas in your car or diesel. Fuel prices here are absurd because they have no domestic oil production. So everything has to be imported. Electricity is cheap because they do have domestic electricity production, as I mentioned, geothermal and hydroelectric. And if you made it this far in this video, please think about liking and subscribing. A lot of people watch, but not a lot of people subscribe. And as I mentioned before, if there's something I'm doing wrong or something you would like to know, please leave a comment and I will answer it and I will get around to it. We're a small channel. We're growing fairly okay. I'd like to grow it to something bigger and better. You know, we love to, to travel on this channel. I like to show you exciting charging sites like this. I know I keep walking around, but I'm still in absolute amazement of how good this site is. So if you want to keep seeing it, please, please like and subscribe. And another overview of the site. It's very beautiful. I cannot keep stressing enough how nice this site is. This is how it should be going forward. A properly covered charging site. Although the cafe is closed, this is open during the daytime. I believe this closes around 5 or 6 p.m. Uh, un understandable, but just the fact that something like this even exists is great to see. I'm so happy to see it. And again, simple payments, no wonky apps, nothing like that. It works perfectly fine. It works. So we decided to go into downtown Reykjavik at their old port and get something to eat there. And we were there for about 45 minutes, so the battery cooled back down. It lost some temperature in, in it and we couldn't pre-charge again so uh, sorry sorry so we, we couldn't precondition again I'm sorry for getting that wrong I'm not not gonna hear the end of it but the preconditioning in this car is actually pretty easy to use a couple people pointed it out to me a uh, shout out to the guys up in Ottawa at the uh, EV club uh, set your destination in the um, onboard satellite navigation and it will start the precondition for you when conditions are met so that works fine we tried it out yesterday and as I said, it just really needs to be perfect to hit those to hit those high speeds. Everything has to be perfect on the car. But we just ramped down now. 77% state of charge. The ramp down has just started from about 161. So now we're starting to ramp down. The battery temperature is up. The voltage is coming up. So now the power is going to start coming down. We've done almost 50 kilowatt hours in, in this car. Uh, 23, sorry. 2,350 Icelandic kroner, so about $24 Canadian it's coming up to. I was actually told at the rental car place that this is a 58 kilowatt hour pack car, but judging based on what I see here and what we arrived at, it's 21% state of charge and what it's going to go up to, that was a total fabrication. This is a 77.4 kilowatt hour car, as I suspected from the start. So as you see, they still do have a gas pump, as I pointed out, but this is, again, just the rest of the site. Really nice cafe. We got coffee here. Uh, horrible echo from everything else. 
and your beautiful chem power setups, your power cabinets there. I wonder where the transformer is. I don't see the transformer and I don't feel like looking for it. Again, everyone seems to like the chem power posts in uh, pink or fuchsia, I should say. So we're just here. Yeah, this is, this is a definitely a 77 kilowatt hour pack because we arrived at 21 or 20, uh, sorry, at 21% state of charge. And there's already, we've already pumped in 56 kilowatts. So this is a much larger pack and we're at 88% state of charge. So the key ring lied to me, the key ring lied All to right, me. All right, let's get unplugged here. 99% state of charge. We've been charging for 45 minutes, 65.21 kilowatts, $31 Canadian roughly or 3,131 Icelandic kroner. As I said, the rental car place wants it back at 70%, so that should be more than enough. Uh, normally we'd be long gone by now, like 20 minutes ago, 25 minutes ago maybe, and we've completely ramped down to absolutely nothing. So let's stop this. And we actually, we hit 100%. Let's stop this. Let's get unplugged. Put this back in here. There is a Mercedes van next to us charging as well. And let's... Uh, well, there you go. If you come to Iceland, you don't have to worry about renting an EV here. EV charging is everywhere here. It's not a problem. By the way, plug share is not too great. Plug share is not accurate at all. There's a couple of different charging apps and providers here. I will leave those down in the description. But if you are in downtown Reykjavik, Iceland, this is a place to absolutely visit. You will like it. There's a Mercedes Metris EV that's charging there as well now. I wanted to get out of his way. He was already kind of looking at me strange. Again, Kemp Power site, Orland here in Reykjavik, Iceland. Six posts, 400 kilowatts, the big boy power cabinet. I wouldn't have stayed here for 45 minutes. If we were out on the road, we would have been long gone, as I already mentioned. But I got to bring back the car and they wanted it at 70%. So... We'll see you again in the next video and goodbye and good night. It is 10 p.m. from Reykjavik, Iceland.